Well, welcome back to part three of our container grown asparagus video. This is my favorite video because today we get to cut some and eat it. Back in just a minute. Well, spring's almost here, and um, this is like the first week of March, so it's not going to be uh, for us the last uh, frost is April the 20th, so we're real close. But one of the first things that comes to life in my garden are uh, the asparagus. They start to emerge, and you'll remember back in the winter, we, we cut these down and winterized them so they could winter over the winter. And when you first start to see your asparagus emerge, you'll see a little bulge in the mulch. See these little bulges like this? If, if I dug down in there, if you look up close, see you can actually see the little asparagus trying to come up. Oh, cute. See it? Mm -hmm. So I just leave it in there. It grows right through this mulch. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to help it or nothing. Just let it, let it do what it does. Here's some more that came up a couple days ago. You can see them. They're looking pretty good. And these will be uh, three-year-old crowns this year. So some of these bigger ones will be able to start to harvest and eat this year. These look like these are a little too little, too skinny to be edible yet, just yet. But um, there's probably some big ones starting to come through. They just haven't emerged yet. So we'll be back in the days ahead, and we'll take a look at these as they come up, and we'll pick out the nice fat ones and um, let Nancy make something to eat with it. But we'll see you back soon. Today's April 1st and uh, asparagus have been coming up pretty good. We're pretty excited about it. Let's just take a look and uh, look where we're at with the asparagus coming up out of the pots. starting to come up um, you know a couple of weeks ago and then as usual we get a couple of freezes come through late freezes and uh, we've had like three you know since the last time we we looked at our asparagus and look right here at this is some of the freeze damage that occurred after these things started to come up you see that that asparagus right there and see how it's all limp noodle hanging over what you want to do when you get some freeze damage to some of your asparagus is you want to get down in here I don't know if can you see it and you want to just snip it off right down there and just cover up the mulch over it you want to get that see how it's soft and rubbery you want to get that on out of there just go ahead and remove it and then you'll see your other plants coming on up and the ones that are kind of skinny like this you just want to let them go ahead and be ferns see how I've got this one growing I'm gonna let it be ferns and next year this one will be twice as big as it is now here's one right here this, this is about the perfect size if you dig your mulch back a little bit and see the ground level right there I want to come right down to that ground level and cut it and I cut it kind of at an angle see how I got that then I just cover it up and that right there that's that's a good cooking size it's actually a little bit too long I should have got it when it's about here but right here <laughs> man that's some good eating man so you look around the pots and we've got several of them that we can be picking and when your asparagus start to come up 
you want to keep an eye on them because they grow really quick in just a day or two which it may be this long when you first notice it and the next day it might be that long so you want to get it when it's at the right size where it's nice and tender and see how it snaps when it's snapping like that that's that's perfect so We'll be picking off of these asparagus in the days ahead, probably for about another two weeks. And then after that, we let them grow to be ferns again. So we enjoyed this little journey on how to grow these in containers. And uh, we'll do another video another day on how to do it in the ground and grow them 20 years in the ground. So we thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel. And until we see you next time, always remember, by hey fans, we, we are fed. fed. Give, Give us, Lord, our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.